What would you do if you knew that the Earth was about to be destroyed? That's what the new movie Seeking a Friend for the End of the World is all about. It stars Steve Carell and Kira Knightley as two people who are able to face doomsday with a sense of humor. So. So. What are you doing with the rest of your life? Oh, um, little of this, little of that. Probably catching up on some me time. Find God, maybe move around some chairs. <laughs> Steve Carell, good morning. Good morning. So um, a movie about the end of the world does not sound like a light comedy. What attracted you to this movie? Well, you're right. <laughs> it does not sound like a light. That is what attracted to me about it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a big metaphor. It's a metaphor for how to live your life and finding the joy and, and finding those special moments and finding special people within it. Mm -hmm. and one of the people you find is Kira Knightley, as we just saw. Yeah, we and become she, friends. And she just dropped by a few weeks ago to talk about this movie. She's very passionate about it. Yeah. Her character, Penny, is quirky um, and, and perky. Mm -hmm. Your character, Dodge, is not. I'm not a quirky, perky kind of guy. <laughs> no. I mean, as you can see in that clip, I'm very muted, at least at first. I'm a guy who wears a, a ton of regret on his shoulders. And ironically, with three weeks left, that's, that's the time frame he has in which to, to find the meaning yeah. you know, and to find a joy. To get it together. You yeah. know, he decides, because he has a, he's very responsible, to take his terrier. Mm -hmm. He wants it. That's the thing he's going to take facing the end of the earth. Right. She grabs her LP records because they're very precious to her. Have you ever thought about what you'd grab if you were faced with something like this, a scenario like this? I would this? just grab food. I would grab, I would eat so much crap if I knew that we had just a couple weeks left. And, and of course, then you start thinking, well, is, any, is anything going to be open? You know, I'd love to go to a great restaurant, have a wonderful meal. Yeah, like they're going to stay there in order to serve me right, a so wonderful meal. Right, practical. I just want deep fried. I want pasta. I'm going to carbo load okay, for that's, Doomsday. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing. Smart. It's really no, smart. it's dumb. It's stupid. Yeah. But what do you do? I, you know, you're, you're faced with that dilemma. You're faced with that question. No idea. I have no idea. There's a moment in which uh, it's pretty interesting. Your wife plays actually in your real life wife, right? Yeah. In real life, plays the character of your wife who leaves you all of a sudden mm -hmm. when she finds out that the end of the world is coming in the movie. And you actually filmed this part of the movie on your wedding anniversary. Yeah. What was that like? On our 16th anniversary. It, I hope it wasn't foreboding <laughs> in any sense. Um, yeah, she, at the very beginning of the movie, it's the last scene we shot, it's the first scene in the movie, and she, sh <laughs> she shoots me this look, and I would love a freeze frame of it, because it's scary as hell. And the director even said, wow, have you seen that in real life before? And I have. And I hope never to again. <laughs> no, Maybe. she's great. I was, it was fun. It was actually really fun because we got to work together. Yeah, yeah, cool. And may you never see that look again. Meantime, yes. meantime you gave the commencement address at Princeton just I recently. I did, yeah. What would you have to say to the graduating class? I, you know, I told them, um, <laughs> you know, it was, it was just for fun, obviously. It was class day, which is a, a lighter version of commencement. It's the day before commencement. Um, and I told them, basically, that the in essence, I said, um, you are young, and because of that, you are wrong. <laughs> and so with some time, you're going to get right. <laughs> yeah. See, they it got that. pretty much that same response when I did it. Um, you know, it was, it was very tongue-in-cheek. You know, but you actually, it's interesting, because you wanted to go into med school. You wanted to become a lawyer. And no. the thing is that you actually somehow found the ability to not do what you should do, mm -hmm. but what you wanted to do. Right. right. How did you do that? Well, it ended up being what I should do, I think. My parents really gave me the out. My parents, I was sitting down to fill out a law school application, and my parents said, is this what you want to do? Because I couldn't, I couldn't um, answer the essay question, I, which was, why do you want to become an attorney? I didn't know why. Um, so they said, well, what have you always enjoyed? What, what would you like to do? And I said, you know, we kind of made a list of all the things I'd enjoyed, and acting was one of them. And I went from there. We're glad you made that choice. Thanks. And certainly as you're facing the end of the world, you wanted to have made the right choice. Thank you so much. Thanks. Steve My pleasure.